Who is it? Hi guys. Are you ready for the tour? Are you ready for dinner? Let's go. Welcome to Maddie Nation. Thank you, boo. Okay guys, so thanks, Jack. <laughs> Listen, I I know this Christmas, this holiday season is a little bit different for all of us. And um it doesn't mean that you can, you know, set a nice table, you know, put up your Christmas stuff and just do your thing and so that's what Jabra and I want to do, is just show you that in the midst of the pandemic and everything, we can still have a good time, treat yourself with something fancy, and just let's go. Hence this tablescape, I wanted something rustic, something easy, I wanted something that, you know, my boys and my husband can just feel like this is very easy going, no, no pressure, seeing that we can invite family and friends over. So let's get into this. Now, I wanted, what I did was I mixed vintage with current, which I'm learning how to do that. I'm learning that the vintage touches give you a little bit of, mm, yeah, I like that. So at the end of the table, what I used was these red chargers at both ends. Then I used my regular thrifted plates that I have with, with um these vintage oh, vintage napkins. And of course, the new thing is the black plate. Oh. The black chargers. Why can't I speak? The right. black plates, not black chargers. <laughs> I will screw you up with that. Right, yeah. And then of course I paired it with these um gold um utensils. I love the mix of the, the red, the black, and the white. It gives it a lot of texture, a lot of variety. Um, this is a little bit different. Normally put your candles inside your centerpiece, but I wanted this right here that has my husband, and my kids come down for dinner. You can see that a little, a little candlelight moment. Don't feel like it's too romantic, it still feel like it's family appropriate. Okay? What's wrong with a little romance? But no. no. Well, at least I tried. You did. Um, now let's get into the centerpiece. I like it. I feel like I got what I wanted, which was rustic. Can okay. I say something? Go ahead. Very nice centerpiece. Thank you. Very, very nice center. Look at this centerpiece. This this centerpiece belongs on a million dollar table. Okay, no, and, no, 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 your center because. Um, no, no, okay. I'm, I'm being serious. You you know your stuff. Let, let's don't let's don't trip. You know your stuff. Okay. But go so, ahead, sweetie. The, the thing is that I wanted to do something that you guys can also do yourself. I don't think, I think as a creator, when we put things out, we want to inspire you. Well, I want to inspire you. And I want you to go out there and say, you know what? If Nadia does it, then I can do it. So let me talk about the candle piece right here. I don't know if you can see this there, but this is like a tree stump that came, that, that came with a candle holder. So I use this and then I use this beautiful cutout. I love the shape of this from Home Goods. What and is I, that? Is that sort of like a... Uh, a hurricane, something like it a hurricane, is, but it has that this kind of weird cut to it. Okay, in the front. So, yeah. Gotcha. So I love that, and I mix um, fresh and full um, pine cones mm -hmm. with fresh um, cranberries to kind of give that that pop of color, but yeah. not too much, just well a done. little bit. Well done. And then of course, you gotta bring in the pan fresh grass where you Watch can out. This, Watch this, out. <laughs> we have this darker color ones, and of course, fresh pine cone to kind of give that that outdoorsy smell. I got these. These um, what's this called? These wine glasses from from Home Goods. I showed them in a previous haul, so go ahead and copy some if you need that. Um, we don't really drink, but you can definitely use cranberry juice, orange juice, Kool Aid, whatever you got. Put it in here and be fancy, okay? Nobody say you can't use it for water, or whatever. Let's get with it. Now, the, at the rest of the table, I use the the gold charges because I feel like it pair really well with our table from Restoration Hardware. Again, because I'm trying to go for woodsy, mm -hmm. I didn't want to cover the entire, mm -hmm. the entire table. So I just have this four fur runner. And of course, I made, I made these, the four, these are the, oh, these four chairs right here, very light hearted by using these fun Christmas plates that we've been had for years. Mm -hmm. Just with the same idea of the vintage napkins, the boxes, and of course, the little twigs. If you don't have fresh twigs, cut a piece from the garden and you can make it work as well. Uh, what else did I miss? What I'm missing? Um, I kept everything kind of low profile because the idea of a centerpiece is not to impede the conversation that you're having with your with, with your guests. It's just something there that's gonna tie it all together. So that was the entire gist behind keeping it low. And hey, if you got wine, put it out, okay? Come on, come on, talk out. about it, talk about but it. This is the entire tablescape. I've already talked to you guys about where all these things are from. Um, the table, of course, is restoration hardware. Our chandelier, which is just 
doing what it does, a statement piece, it just, it totally just, just vibe together. I, I think as, as I'm getting more comfortable with my style, it's okay to embrace a little bit of minimalism. It's, it's okay. And of course, JB going to go ahead and give you an entire spin, look at the entire living room and you can see how it all ties together. Hey, do, do that thing again you just did. Go ahead. <laughs> go, ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Okay, go ahead. Okay, guys. So ahead. if you've watched the video this, <laughs> if you've watched the video this far, thank you guys so much. Um, as you guys know, Vlogmas is it's a lot of work, but we're gonna do it because we want to keep you guys entertained and keep you guys inspired. No, do me a favor. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Okay. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. And we see you guys tomorrow. If you have any questions about any, anything you see on the table or anything you see in our videos, please go ahead and send us a comment. Okay, guys, I want to show you like a full daytime look of what the process is like in getting ready to film a tablescape. Because I want you to see the, the wallpaper ceiling. I want you to see the light fixture. I want you to see the artwork on the wall. And with the nighttime, you don't get a chance to, to see the full beauty. Now, this tablescape right here, I did add some things and take away, you know, as you can tell. But it's not a perfect process, but it's a process that you can always add and take away from until you create what you're looking for. So don't be discouraged. It's okay. Take your time. I just want to show you guys that. I just want to show you it share the tablescape in the daylight so sorry for the back and forth lighting but i thank you guys so much for just supporting us in this process you guys be safe stay motivated stay inspired and finally don't allow your budget to limit your creativity we love you we thank you be safe and we see you guys tomorrow